Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Creeper World 4. That is right, we are back yet again in the colony section. Here out again for a Navy support. An outpost has been under siege with limited resources for some time. Due to their low resources, an offense was deemed too risky. Now that the first Creeper fighting destroyer has been proven and the higher ups are satisfied with the results, we are sending you with three destroyers to help the outpost. That's right, three brand spanking new destroyers uh, to help out the outpost. Uh, which has also been given permission to mass produce said destroyer. So we will not only have three, we will start three. Let's give it a go. All right, all right, all right. Here we go. And incoming transmission. Finally, about time we got our requested reinforcements, just when the enemy were about to push to. Multiple emitters have been secretly moved, constructed whatever, under the sea, and have now been activated. We have been in a stalemate, so this will be disastrous if you do not get out there and blow them up. The enemy have also become more aggressive thanks to your arrival, so get moving yesterday. Two emitters just outside the harbor. Those are absolute priority. Absolute priority. Do not loose that shipyard. Oh no. HQ better of... HQ better of also informed you. Or uh, better of. Must have, let's say. Uh, informed you that you can only get missiles from the shipyard by parking it nearby it. Now enough a dilly-dally. Get out there and be useful. Take uh, Time to take the fight to them. Jump cut. And here we go. We are on the map. There are some emitters that are under the water. We, it looks like there's a four and one over here under the ocean. That being said... Uh, we will want to... Ooh, one right there as well. Look at that. So many emitters. So little time. We also have a number of advanced emitters and re other regular emitters. Some spore launchers, some skimmelims, uh, a lot of light sams, and the most devastating of all, not the blobs. No. It is the lancers. The lancers are devastating. Now that being the what's going on, we have some destroyers to destroy. So we start with these four. We can make another. We can also make some units. So let's place down some of our plans. Uh, we don't have much room for them, so we can only put a few down. I'm going to put down like these, about five regulars, three ACs. Not have them on because obviously the base cannot support that in the slightest. But that's okay, right? That's okay. Um, it'll get there. It'll get there. Uh, we do have some urns going on. I hope we'll cut. they're going to go over there. Don't think all of them will, but we'll see. And other than that, let's get this show on the road. We gotta... Oh, we can start printing our ship as well, which is a bit amazing. Print that ship and start the destruction. Yes. So our goal will be to destroy these emitters as much as possible. We should be able to get through these two very easily. We might take a little bit of damage, but I'm not worried about damage right now. Uh, we can take a couple of hits. It's not really going to hurt us. Uh, the rig real key is just be in range, kill these off. We'll, we'll heal that damage up. We got to move our butt. That is the key. We got to move our butt you lines. Let's roll, let's roll, let's roll. There we go. So right now things are looking fine. Uh, I will say things are looking fine. Let's let's go a little a little higher, just so we can start to move our uh, ships through this little straight right here. Look at that! Look at that! Ah, such good control. And yes, yeah, so we have an earned unit there. Uh, we have one urn in there. We have an urn someplace else. It was a third urn, right? Oh, it's that Mortar. So most of our urns are right there. One went over there. I actually would have preferred the two to go into fire range or fire rate. You know, fire rate, fire... Uh, would, have been, would have been so much nicer. But that's okay. That's okay. Uh, how long till we get our next ship, Elon? It's going to be a while. It's going to be a while. So we are going to start the process. Uh, let's start releasing some missiles. Let's go for releasing in like six seconds or so. And let's go with a range of 100. I believe this range is 50. I genuinely don't know what these ranges mean. Uh, so we'll see. 
Uh, I know they may be accurate right now, but as far as I'm concerned, they will not be accurate later. So, fingers crossed. Oh, we have to turn the, the missiles on so they fire, of course. That's also a thing. Uh, how are our AC bombers doing? They are finally up and operational. So, let's start sending those boys out as well to sort of help out. We want to get some AC down here because we're, we're, we're draining the creep. There we go. There go the missiles. And look at that. They're, they're beautiful. We're going straight for that emitter. And that's exactly what we want to see, right? If they can kill this emitter off, I will be so happy. That's amazing, right? Just a free emitter, go. So, cruise missiles, amazing. I love them uh, when they work. Fingers crossed they actually are hitting the, <laughs> the emitter. There we go. Uh, one thing I do hate, though, is it blew it up, and the others are just like, oh, that my target's gone? Okay, well, I'm just going to go, you know, my, my work here is done. Uh, so they just, they just blow themselves up, uh, which is a little bit of a shame. Don't really like that fact too much. I wish what they would just do instead is just, you know, still just hit where they were planning on hitting, right? I mean, there could have been... Oh, we got rid of a Lancer, and it's fully blown up. That's actually amazing. Uh, you know what? Let's, let's keep this, these, these cruises going, because if we can get this area off to a good start as well, that would be super amazing, too. So... Oh, nope, 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 nope. Oh, they're shooting spores and things. Okay, turn them off. Turn them off. Don't want them shooting spores. Don't want them shooting anything silly. Uh, so far, things are looking pretty good, though. How are we doing in terms of our next one? Our next one is actually done. We have to wait for it to appear, and then we can start clicking print again. Not saying... Uh, I know what happens if you click print too late. Uh, or too early. You know, even though it was done. Might not have been done. Uh, let's turn them back on. These should all go for this Lancer. If we can kill this Lancer off, that would be double amazing. This would be, this would actually be, like, the best beginning I've ever had, uh, I, I will say. Uh, so, fingers crossed. All right. We'll turn them off here. Oh, did I not turn them off? Oh, maybe I only selected one. Unfortunately, we now have a slight problem. Not a slight problem. Uh, we can't target this anymore with our missiles. Our missiles won't go there to blow it up. A little bit of a shame. It happens. Not the end of the world. More of a nuisance. Uh, you are full. Now, one thing that is a bit of a nuisance. Not a nuisance. It's just, you know, part of using all of your ammo is we just used up pretty much all of our ammo. We are going to want to refill, so let's get some refilling on the goo. And these take 10 per bulletto. So we need 260 uh, per two, which basically means we're, we're fine for ammo. We just need... I, I don't want to send them all in. I kind of want to leave a couple back. Uh, so I want to sort of send them in slowly. As you can see, these are refilling pretty well, which is nice. Then we'll send them back out. 13... 14. A little slow to reload. That's okay. That we can deal with. We can deal with the reload. Right? We can deal with that. Uh, send in the next. This is at 9. Does that need to turn around? It does need to turn around. So we'll turn it around. How's the other one doing? 16 as well. Beautiful. I'm going to move this in to about here. I don't want to move it in all the way. So my goal now is to have sort of a front line and a back line. Uh, that front line and back line is the key. 15, 16, nice, nice. So we'll move you to there as well. You, okay, you are getting ammo. We'll spin you around. So now we have a front line, which are these two. And then we have a back line, uh, which kind of are these two. And this third one will be a front line one as well. We're going we're gonna to keep it with front lines. Uh, we do want the front line to be a little bit bigger, but so the goal of the front line back line system Right. A, we're not all getting skimmed at once, which happens. Uh, but the real goal of it is one side, see, this will shoot the deep creep here, but it won't be able to kill all the creep, right? So there's still a thin layer. This will then focus on just the thin creep that comes in. That way we should be able to have our AC expand a landa, right? Expand a landa AC, it's beautiful. Uh, we're almost to another ship as well. So after this reload, we're almost to another ship. That's gorgeous. So let's turn on our next AC bomber. Let's turn on a regular 
Super Bomber Doom, maybe? Yeah, let's do it. Now, what I would love is to destroy this, right? I would love to destroy both of these, to be fair. I'd love to destroy all of these, to be fair. I am very worried that we're entering the Broken Zone. And that's what spooks me. Uh, our ship is printed. If I were to clip print right now, it would have been destroyed before it started to leave the, uh, the factory. Just another note. Even though it's printed and done, you have to wait for it to actually exit. So these are a little finicky. But that's okay. We can deal with that, right? That only happens if you are fast enough, like, or just so fast, right? So if you're, if you're pretty good on your speed, are you still getting ammo out there? Yes, perfect. So this is actually perfect because this is actually just protecting, like, right here. Like, it's, it's even a little bit further back. Gives us that bit more protection just for our units, which you do have to be careful of because you can blow yourselves up. Our, your units will kill each other. They don't like each other. Uh, <laughs> if these <bo> <laughs> We will probably see our own units dying at some point. Now, we are very weak right now. That is one thing to note, right? The disabled wreck is coming online again, so we will have to handle things. Now, snipers are literally the worst thing in the universe. So, for this sniper... Oh, no. We're going we're gonna to wait for all of the things to come, right? So, we're just going to wait. I was going to start using cruise missiles on the slancer again. I could have started using on the emitter earlier, but... I figured we'd give it a go. But the Lancer was being used right around here-ish, right? And it was, or the missiles were being used right around there. And they were fine, for the most part. So that's good. We know that they should work there. Now we're going to wait for the spores to land, for all the skimmelims to go, because these can target skims, these can target blobs. We, we, we kind of figured that out. Uh, we're almost to another... You know, which is great. Uh, another AC bomber. Yes, please. Yes, 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 please. All right, and... Energy-wise, we're still looking okay. Not perfect, but still looking okay. I'm gonna send you down here just to start thinning this out a little bit. And let's take five, let's say. So let's go with these. Let's go with you. Come on up over here. You come on up over here. You come on up over here, over here, and over here. So we're going to take these five. All right, we got five. We already established cruise missile 100 was a good range. That is within our 100 range. So missile delay again, six. Range 100. Let's let's do a, a reset of both just in case. Uh, sometimes that does help. And missile on. All right, let's see what happens. Will these work? If these work, I'm going to be very happy. <laughs> very happy. Uh, they're coming up, and one, one is going for the Lancer. So are the rest just not in range? I will move forward just to see. Maybe it's a range thing. But one is going for the Lancer, as you can see, and the rest are kind of just going wherever they want. So I'm going to turn them off. Uh, yeah, only one is going for the Lancer. Oh, boy. <laughs> There we go. That's the problem. And um, my guess is maybe the only one that was going for the Lancer was the one that hadn't fired yet? I don't know. All I know is we did kill a lot of creep, which is nice, right? It's nice to kill a lot of creep, but that is in no way what our goal was, right? Our goal right there was to kill this Lancer. And Lancers are literally the worst unit in the game for destroyers, because one Lancer... If we were to move our ships to assault said Lancer, for instance, right? Have them all move over here, not a single one of our shots would land. The Lancer can kill every single one of our shots while they're in the air. Uh, as you can see, like, some are actually getting kind of close. And basically, we wouldn't be able to kill any creep. So the Lancer is sort of the ultimate destructive unit for destroyers. And we really need the cruise missiles to kill them. So, I'm going to have this be my crew. This is now my crew. This is my frontline crew. Every ship that we make right now will be the backline crew. And our goal will be to maybe get over here. And once we have enough in the backline crew, take this out. And go from there. Because if it is only the first time they fire that the, the cruise missiles work... 
then it might be a thing where you kind of have to just keep destroying them and cycling them so they work properly. I know that's not how they're designed, and maybe they w do work differently, uh, but that's my experience with them, and we just saw that they were within range, right? So, we know this one hasn't fired as well. And neither is this one. So we have two already that haven't fired. Basically, once we get to like four or five, we probably can do this. Uh, do want a couple more units. Our goal will be to push out just with canans, not with cruise missiles. So that's kind of where I'm at right now. I think my goal will be to just push out with that. I'll definitely push down here. Don't really care about destroying this with missiles, because our canan should be enough, right? The light Sam, not going to really hinder us in the slightest just need some units do need some some back support so we're gonna move you back we're gonna move you back something like that Ooh. all right we're gonna move three back that's fine no no go back we must go back uh perfect perfect uh, these three are gonna be our back support no and we're Potentially taking some hits here. Uh, but this is not exactly like we. I should just turn them around and in, in place. I just want to see how far they could go. There we go. Get out of there, and you get out of there. In theory, the AC should save these, and we should be fine. We should have enough to hold this. These three should now start clearing out the thin creep. That's why you kind of want the front and the bank, which we have. So that's, that's good. Very, very good. Um, thankfully, we know four is enough to pretty much kill a Lancer and an Emitter. So maybe we'll get to four, maybe we'll get to five, and then we'll try and do this Lancer-Emitter combo. Try and move out a little bit, especially as we get this whole front-back situation sorted. And what is nice is even if they don't work to target what we want to target, even if they target the deepest of the creepest, Right? If, if one of the cruise missiles lands right here, it creates a big chunk, right? It still does that. I wish it would prioritize, it would target the lands. And I will say, you, it, it is set to target both units and uh, non-units right now. That being said, I can tell you, I, I've done testing, and even if you set it to just units, it will just target the creeper. So I've done the testing. I promise you I've tested that. Uh, you have my word. So, yes. <laughs> um, we shall see, though. Again, we're just, I guess we're just sort of waiting on another one or two more. So we can we can speed this up. We're kind of stalemating the creep right now. It's not exactly a great position to be in, but it's not, it could be worse. It could be worse. Right? Now, I'm very scared for this armored lore, because we're only going to have a few units that target. <coughs> so... Oof, that's spooky. Again, I would if we could just kill this area and start moving across, that would be oh, so perfect. So perfect. Because then we get land units as well. It would be amazing. I have no idea if we're ever going to be able to do that. Um, just want another ship or two, though. Because I would like to take out these. Just to, A, get rid of some more creep generation, which would be huge. Uh, get a couple more... Wait, did I lose one of my units? How many? I have eight. No, that's, that's, I think that's how many I should have, right? Uh, so that's good. Whew, I thought I lost one. I was like, oh no. Because uh, all it takes is, like, if, so, if there's a lot of creep under one, all it takes is them to blow themselves up. Uh, they do enjoy it. They really like to blow themselves up. Uh, especially if, like, one gets too far and a bunch of things start missling it. Uh, they do enjoy that explosion. Trust me. Uh, you are good. You are making our last one, which will be the one we use before the push. So this means we should, in theory, have five that can fire. Because I used five on when they kind of went bad. I think. <laughs> I hope. Uh, this plane is doing great, though. The singular plane, doing amazing. Energy-wise, we're looking okay. Uh, I'll turn on two more. Uh, AC wise, we are hitting hitting a problem. So, what I'm going to do is once this hits supply full, I am going to stop supplying one of them. I feel real bad about that, but we don't have the blue eight to support it. Do we have any blue eight over here? No. This is the 
all the blue light can only support two plus, right? So it was supporting the two. All right, and supply. Oh, supply off. There we go. Hey, we got two to it. That's fine. Uh, another shipulon. And what we'll do is we will do a test. We are going to put, like, all of our cruises over here and see what they do. Right? Because uh, I am curious at this point. Like, wh is this the case? This I literally just thought of doing this, like, with new ships versus pre-built ships now. And if that's the case, there's our new one. Uh, so now we have Team New and Team Old. Oh boy, this is going to be interesting. Nope, 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 nope. You stay facing this way and come down here a little bit. No, 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 come on down. You can do it. You can do it, buddy. You face this way. Now we're through. Good, good, good. Okay, so team old. It's you. You're team old. You are team old. We can tell because everything is still fine. You're team old. You're team old. So you're all team old right now. And you are team old as well. So get your. We'll see who's moving. That's you. So team old, select squad. Get that one in here. Create squad. Team old. Established. I will move you out. I will move you out. So now this should all be team new. If we select all of these, all of these have a missile release of 10 and a range of 50. That's how we know all of these are team new. So let's send in team old. As old. Uh, send them in real close. Get them real far out. And we can actually move team new in a little bit. Don't want to move them in too much, but we can move them in a little bit. And team, old, missile delay six, cruise missiles on, where are you going? One went where we wanted it to, the rest did. But the rest did a lot of creep damage, which is nice. I mean, I'll still take it, don't get me wrong. Uh, I will still take it. So team, new, delay six, range 100, cruise on. Oh, they're all random. No! No, it wasn't that. They're all just going... Oh, well, there's there's skimmers and things now. But still, the entire plan is awry. No. <laughs> Alright, we'll wait for the skimmers to go. We will send them back out. We do have a lot, so we're still doing okay. I will want to send them in. Ooh. Careful. See, this one dropped a lot of health because it was starting to get hit by the, uh, with everything else. So, this group, uh, just start moving around. Trying to move them without, like, actually physically moving them. So, every one of these turn around. Same thing with you. Alright. We are still, like, we're still doing okay. Again, creep-wise, we're not making a dent. And we need to take out another emitter or two to, to actually start, like, making a dent. I'm going to do this one more time, because now there's no more skimmers or things like that. All right, cruise missiles on. Just, please. And now a lot are going to... Now a lot went to the... Look at that! See, that's beautiful. Oh, that's amazing. A lot went for eggs. That's okay. Hopefully, they're going for the emitter now. I, I'm just staying in the creep because if they can kill this emitter, I will just be very happy. I don't even care. Oh, just get this one emitter. All right. Uh, AC. That one has no help. Like, they're just not killing it, which is weird. That is a weird thing to me. I don't know why it's not dying. It should, I mean, it has more than enough missiles going towards it. I mean... Yeah, why is it not dying? Oh, now they're all going for skimmers and things. No! See, that's a little that's a little cheaty. I feel cheated. I hit that with a lot. I mean a lot of uh, <laughs> missiles and things. 
So I don't know why we were not getting there. Uh, ooh, I definitely should have another ship. How much ammo? These probably don't have much. They have one shot left. There's no way this these hit it, but... I mean, they hit, but there's no way they didn't kill. Uh, but... Alright, we'll move one group back. That's okay. You have ammo, so that's cool. So I'm going to try and see if we can get close enough. That being said, it's weird that we are taking damage right now, yes? But the whole goal is to use our front seat, back -see system, right? We have one group in front, we have one group behind. And we very much want to protect these groups. Uh, planes are doing good. All bombers on, please. Let's turn these two. Let's just do that. Right, you are unfortunately danger. You are in danger. Like it, they're so close to being fine. See now the AC is taking it over. This is what we wanted to see. Oh, but the planes are like just close enough. Okay, so. That's not good. Uh, new bomber, please. Uh, and sadly, one, two, three, we're at our capacity limit. So that kind of sucks as well. Uh, you and you need to come lower. You just bring it on down a little bit. You down a little bit. Okay, and the ships are doing it. Uh, of course, I did not move this in, as I meant to. Yes, yes, yes. Get another one to the forward group. Turn this friend around. And our... Yeah, great. So, boop, bop, beep, blink, blop. So now we have, again, forward group plus back group. And that's what we want to see. And this is where we're going to start to have some bigger issues. And that's this friend. Well, well step one is we, I think, are going to blow ourselves up. And I do not want to do that. So you must... Oh, blew up! I think that was a shot from down here. Or itself? I don't know what actually blew it up. I'm very intrigued. Jeez, how did, the, how did this go so poorly, so fast? Oh yeah. All right, that's fine. Print another one. Move them back. Stay in the AC, please. Clean it up. That's all we want. Just clean it up. That's all we want. Right, much better. And then these. I mean, we could take out the top and we could take out, like, the top and bottom. I just really want to get to this one of matter. It's right there. Uh, we did get another. We got a replacement. We are printing. This should be full now. We'll send it in. Nice. You join the rest. And oof. Everyone shot of that because of a spore. It took two points of damage. Might not sound like much, but that's two out of ten health. 20% of its damage was dealt by friendly fire. So, it's really deadly. That is really deadly. Oh my gosh. Now we kill any ground unit, by the way. Uh, so they they utterly destroy your own ground units. Alright. Skimmers gonna ah, skimmers are gonna skim again, aren't they? So as you can see, that skimmer just struck. Boom. They were you know, it, they hurt they hurt real bad. Uh, luckily the skimmer rode past us though, so we should be able to maintain again. Uh, we should establish our equilibrium. And we should 
now be able to get into range, right? I'm feeling like we're going to be able to get into range. Then we'll take over the top. I should have taken over the top already. I mean, don't get me wrong. I really think I should have done that. But I really thought we could have gotten this with the kind of strategy that I was going for. You know what? I'm going to... I'm going to say... Bonds. No. Bonds. Like... I think that'll help more. You up. You up. And then we will establish this area. So we don't need to move far. We just need to move to, like, here. And we should be within range of this, I think. Are we? Almost. Teeny tiny bit. So look at this. Look at that! Five destroyers. Or six, I don't even know how many. All firing their cannon. One lancer. Singular lancer. Cannot get through. Cruise missile on. Six. Actually, we're gonna have to let we're just gonna unload right now. Missile range. You know, we'll do 125. Actually, no. Actually, missile range 75. Because again, I don't know. See, now that we've basically brought everything in, we're good. So, 125. And let's start to get out of here. Oh, okay. Turn them off. Get out of here. We got the emitter. It was a success. You know, right? That, that's a success. Uh, I'll take it get another ship, and now we'll take over the top. Hopefully with that out of the picture, it might not seem like much, but that does add up to a lot of creep on the map. And honestly, this top is not looking so, like, tough, right? Like, it looks very thin. I should not be on times two speed. Honestly, being on times two speed is really hurting me. Like, super bad. Um, and if the crew... Honestly, if the cruise missiles were working fine, I would just go back, reload, go back, reload, and ha this would have been destroyed, this would have been destroyed, this would have been destroyed. I don't know, think you can destroy the advanced emitters, but we would have been making some pretty good progress against them. Um, so, yes, it's a bit of a shame. Now, thankfully, we do have overwhelming numbers eventually. We are working on it. Uh, AC bombing. Oh, those are regular bombers. AC bomb. Here. Here, the only one that worries me right now. Now, we're at least taking over the top, which is what we definitely want to do, right? And we know we have enough ships that we can pretty much overwhelm a Lancer now. A singular Lancer. So, with this AC coming in, we're not it's not being supplied from the top, pretty much. So, if we can get most of our units in range, we might be able to shoot that down. Are you in range? We're like just out of range. Dudes. Oh, yes, we did. We shot it down. That feels real good. Another another unit down with commands. But again, we could theoretically. We're gonna try it. We're gonna try it. I mean, I don't even know if any have ammo. There's a couple with ammo. So we'll just we'll just see. Right now, missile range 100. We know 100 isn't within range of that unit. We only have two. Where are they going? They are going for the Lancer. Oh, amazing. So even if they just drain that creep there and just start hurting that Lancer, that could be like amazing. Right? Because that would give us such an advantage. They... What were they going for that they decided to blow themselves up? 
Please kill this Lancer. Yes, we actually kill killed it. Oh my gosh, that's super amazing. Okay, so the dream is real. The dream is going very real. I am so happy. So happy. <laughs> I don't even, how many do we even have? We have 12. So this is our 13th ship. Oh my gosh, we have so many ships. Uh, let's go with one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, five. So again, a stronger front side, a weaker back side. We have taken out so many of the Lancers. Uh, we've taken out uh, an extra emitter. We're now able to start the process of moving forward. That being said, I should take the time to reload all of my units, right? That is one thing that we do need to do. Uh, because apparently sometimes they work. Love it when they do. Because this is the first time I've gotten there and they did. So, double amazing. Um, all right, let's start moving our aggressive side forward a bit. Our light side. It's back a bit. Keeps aggressive side safe. Let's go with one, two, three. Now this Lancer will be a problem. Okay, let's send you back up. You should fill up by the time you turn around. Let's send you back. So again, we have aggressive side, we have like cleaning side. I mean, realistically, we should clean down here. But the problem is a lot of our shots aren't hitting now because of the Lancer. Now we do have energy hitting up here but we're, we're like not clearing just enough of the creep right and that's part of the problem like we, we need we need to really get this creep out of the way uh which we will we, you got stuck really wild uh was not expecting that one to get stuck you're at 12 to 16 so you're fine you're at one you come on back except come on back uh over here let's start working our way down it because this lancer is clearly going to cause us strife uh we did get this up which is nice uh i'm not sure if it was the creep or if it was us that killed that unit so that's another thing that happens um if our shots are trying to kill the creep over here they'll, they'll just blow up our, our towers as well it's, it's gonna be a thing we'll be fine for it it's not the end of the world it's just something we have to be aware of right it's you know it's part of the the process print a new ship beautiful you get back in action let's start the actual process of taking out this aisle we have ac actually getting up there which is huge right i mean we could start putting ac up there but i don't want to necessarily start doing that until we actually have some drainage on that side but i'm very happy with how things are currently looking you're at 13 you're not actually getting filled which is a problem there we go another 16 in the bags so we'll get like one more and then i think we'll be good with refilling and then we'll hopefully be able to just start making a pretty big push to the south i mean we lost all of this ground but i don't this this ground doesn't really matter right that ground doesn't really matter this is it turned off oh right 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 they they kind of died right i was like why are they all off huh interesting uh, and we can hopefully do something like this. Now, yes, the Lancers. Jeez, see, this is too much creep. So our backside was a little weak, and that's okay. Now, unfortunately, well, no, it's not that it's just our backside is weak. It's that also a lot of our shots are getting shot down. And shots getting shot down, very bad for business. I will have you know, when a lot of your shots are getting shot down, it's very bad. You need to fill up. I should. Butts, uh, butts, 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 butts. But that's okay, because we can handle it. We can handle it. Because now we have a good crew. We have a good backup crew. We have a good amount of ammo. Good crew. Forward. Forward.
backup crew does need to help a bit stronger. And you will be backup. What I should do is actually uh, put these as actual crews. Like these three, bring it on down. These bunch, bring it on in. And then these will be a crew. So, great squad of these six. And then these plus these. I can't actually shift more for that. Uh, you are a crew to be. Six and eight. This, that's the last one. We cannot make another. Boom, boom, boom. No more to be made. So, we do have to take out this Lancer. As you can see, it is sniping our shots. It is destroying our hope of salvation. So, we do need to make a pretty big push for it. Uh, we are going to have backup crew of seven units. We have front crew of eight units. Oh no. What? You? Gosh. You select squad. You're set to five. What? What has happened? This crew of eight units. Now you're ten. No. This crew. I'm not saying select squad. Jeez. Create squad. This crew. Create squad. Thank you. All of these. They cannot yet fire. All right. Cruise on. Four. I don't know who has ammo, who doesn't. Same thing here. Cruise on. Four. Even, both of these should be within 100 range of this. We should have plenty of ammo. If they all just go for this Lancer, then blammo. Just, yes. They're working. They are working. So now we should actually see, with this Lancer gone, like all the creep just start to really disintegrate with our two unit system. Uh, that being said, we don't want to lose anything. So let's turn these kind of around a little bit. And turn these kind of this way. Oh, there's so many. Oh, we just want to move them slightly out of the creep so we don't blow them up. Right? And we want to move these back a little bit. So we finally are okay. Now, all of our planes should be good, right? There's now nothing that will shoot our planes in the vicinity. So we can even grab another bomber, which is amazing. Take all five, create a squad. Yay. And these can sort of do whatever we want now, right? As long as it don't get close to that, you know, we can have them, say, cut off this. Hopefully start draining this off. And you can see, now that the Lancer is not hitting our shots, holy moly are we actually making some progress, right? We're making, we're making kind of landfall to a degree. We're shooting this emitter, which I don't think we can kill. That's okay. Uh, I'm going to say all of these only target creep for now. You know, oh, but... <laughs> Don't want them actually targeting, like, that blob. You know? That was a good, that was a good uh, skimmer, though. Uh, so now we can hopefully spread these out again. Let them truly shine. Spin these around again. And then let them shine a bit as well. All right, forward, backward. We can start making progress. Hopefully start to get across to the land. Uh, do we want to move our AC over there yet? I don't quite know. Ooh, we have full AC. Yes, supply on. Please get me another. All right, we'll put one AC bomber over there. We'll have the other two. We want them in the ocean. Because we want our ocean filled. But... Look at this. Like, this should stop overflow, which is going to be amazing. And you can actually see just the progress that we can now make without these Lancers. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. And we see, like, up there, we just blew that up. That was, our, that was us blowing that up. So that's kind of why I want to move away from this area and hopefully let the, the planes handle it. Because uh, if we don't, 
Like, the creep's not getting up here. Anything that's blowing the... Oh, I guess it got up there now. It wasn't for a second. Now it is! No! No, it wasn't. I swear. Uh, that's fine. Should spread these out a little bit more. Whoa, you go there. Like, we just. Like, once the shield is up, they should be fine. So, that AC, I think, will help substantially. That should get the shield up. There's the shield. No more. No creep can get inside this shield, right? There's nothing that they can do to effectively stop us. Um, we have drained all of this. The creep has gone down by 100,000, by the way. So we're doing... We are actually draining a lot of the creep. Uh, I'm going to move the AC over to the island itself. I think. Unfortunately, there's no sniper or anything over there, which is a little bit of a shame. Uh, and honestly, these planes are doing some great work, too. Once we kill this off, this emitter will be great as well. I would very much like to get a nullifier on that. Uh, we need to... Actually, what we should probably spread out a bit more. In this squad. Can you... You can do a diagonal, right? Like, yeah, we can do something. And take this squad. Select it. I'll just say boosh, 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 boosh. Start spreading the news to the world that we are here. We are here. And we're gonna blow you up. Yay! <laughs> now, as long as we don't blow up this nullifier, we should be in a hugely good spot. Now, unfortunately, things are happening, but the AC is coming down. They don't have quite enough, right? We do need some planes over there, I think. Um, but right now, I guess my focus kind of is on getting over here. So, next on the hit list, move. See, this is where the problem is. We need to move our other squad in much closer. So, squad two does need to be moving in substantially, right? And that always goes with the, you know, one of the biggest problems when you have squad things and you want to set them up just right. Ah, uh, that it's going to fall. So we're going to wait for the skimmelin. Because if you're not moving them in, you know, simultaneously, you are causing yourself some hurt. Uh, all AC bombers? Let's just drop it on that. Because again, if this gets built, I think a lot of this goes away. Uh, so select this squad and... This squad is to move it in. So select this squad. You want them close, but not on top of each other. This is officially nullified. So with this being officially nullified, I'm kind of hoping we get some pretty big gains from this. Right? We'll, we'll move this back here. This should start to die off, not being refreshed by this, not drawing our shots over here. This will pull this back. Maybe we can get some units. Maybe we can nullify the spore launcher. Maybe we can get some snipers. There is a sniper. Yes. Okay, it's all coming together. It's all coming together. Another squad, again, our two squad system. And we should, uh, we're actually getting in range of this, which is amazing, right? We have our one squad, we have our other squad, we have units being made, we have snipers. Nowhere near enough, because there's what? There's six blobs, and who knows how many skimmers. There's three there, and, okay, there's six skimmers. We now know how many of them. So, uh, that's fine. Um, but with our two, again, our two-prong system, it's working pretty well. Uh, the advanced emitters don't seem to be increasing, which is good. Although, if they can't die, I'm guessing there's going to be a nullifier there if we can't blow them up. Uh, if we're supposed to be able to blow them up, we couldn't. Uh, none of our cruise missiles went over there. And, uh, yeah, our units just did not want to, so there is that. 
Alright, squad the first. Take the hits. Squad the second. Deliver the safety. Ooh, that's a lot of skims for squad the second. See, that could be a problem. But this is great, because now, energy-wise, our base has more energy than before. We have an Emrift over here now. We're gaining more energy. We're building more units. We're using those units. Um, like, everything is sort of happening very, very well right now. And I'm kind of suspicious on if it's ever going to go wrong. I would love to destroy that. I don't think we can. So the question is, do we start going down? or do we, Actually, maybe we try, I would love to blow that up. Right? Because if we can blow these two up, then that's just huge. Right? So let's, let's start moving forward. So let's move squad the first. It is nice that when you select a squad like this, they are in order. So look, look at squad base combat. You gotta love it. And you have to love that there is an MRF here. We have another sniper. Two snipers is actually almost good enough to handle things. So I am very excited for that. Uh, I do like how the Light Sam does try to target the blasts. That's actually very cool as well. Um, kind of fun. Uh, but yeah, you can see, we're able to now start making some progress. The we've cut the creep on the map down by half, which is pretty huge. We are still taking care of this emitter, which is a little bit of a problem. We need to take care of this Light Sam, though. And we need these emitters. Right? So if we can get the, the emitters and the Light Sam, think we have a pretty good shot now the problem is most of the things are shooting this emitter so i think we may want to redo things because if if this gets nullified we can easily take out the emitters by swapping to units shooting that everyone's happy but if all of our our shots come over here well we're, we're never going to get anywhere right so we do need to do a little bit but we are still shooting down here when it's thick enough thick enough i guess i could spread it around a couple just to sort of clean up a little bit but i think i think we're doing okay i think things are looking okay the base is coming along this whole area is looking amazing there is no nullifier though which is troublesome don't like that there's no nullifier there that to me is definitely worrisome uh might do that for a little bit. Maybe maybe we lose a couple, but if we can just get them so they're not firing back here, that'll just be nice. Maybe I should do the top side, I don't know. Oh, see they Oh, there is a nullifier. Oh yes. Oh nullifier. Happy days. No one blow up this nullifier. No one. I swear to you, we need this dead so we can swap back to units, so we can kill this emitter, so we can kill this emitter, so we can kill this light Sam, and then everything else goes from there, right? We might even be able to kill the spore launcher. I don't know. Don't really care about the spore launcher. Like, it's annoying, but it's more of a minor nuisance than anything else, right? Uh, we are finally taking this out, which means uh, these are much more active where we want them, which is huge. And yeah, we're, we're doing fine. We're doing fine. Nullifier is up. Happy days. Let's move them in. Good job, team. Good job, backup team. Really want to get down there, which we will get to. We just blew up all of them eggs. <laughs> which is amazing. As you can see, all of them eggs. Uh, everything go back to both. Because if you can target an emitter... You're allowed. Boom. One more emitter gone. Now, are you spitting out more? You're still at 45. So I'm feeling pretty good about that. Now, are these, these are not in range. We are destroying a couple of the eggs, which is good. And this this isn't too bad. Uh, the AC here, let's move it down. So if we can protect this... I oh, say protect. I mean, we don't really have a choice. If this unit gets built, which I think it is, which it isn't, a missile, we blew it up. We blew up our only hope. We just blew up that whole area. <laughs> That's the problem sometimes. You kind of blow up your your whole area. 
Uh, let's wait for these skimmers to pass and things like that, and then we'll go, we'll go kill this emitter. I think we're going to be fine with that. I just want these to get built, and the problem is they're, like, getting super close, and then, like, one of our missiles was coming and killing them. Nice, there we go. The hero unit clean it off. Yeah, yeah. All right, we are... Like, we're in a handy winning position now, right? I mean, we're going to destroy this. This is going to come in here. We have our backup units. The planes have done great, but we do need to get down here so we can destroy that light Sam so we can send our planes elsewhere. And with this gone, our planes can go anywhere up top, right? We can just send them, clear out the entire island. That'll be fine, right? Uh, where this emitter should not last long against Super Crew. Boom, it's already gone. This sh should not last long against Super Crew. Uh, if they shoot it. Maybe, uh, maybe they're not all of them. Just, uh, just a tiny bit, just a tiny bit. Yes, blow this up. And plans, yes. Select squad. Let's go back to this. Zoosh. All the way across. AC bombers, how you looking? We still have max AC. I don't know if I want to change a bomber for an AC bomber or a AC bomber for a regular bomber. Kind of in a state where I just don't know what I want right now. Uh, but we are going to start working towards this island. Because then we can get rid of a skimmer factory. Get rid of all of that stuff. I think this island will sort of take care of itself with this nullifier. It will get rid of this. Uh, I mean, with the bombers now, this should really start to thin out. And then it's just this. This. And this. And this island is spooky. Because as an armored lore, it's got a lancer. We do have all 15 units. So, super squad to the rescue, backup squad to the safety precautions. And, th yeah, this whole area is looking great. The spore launcher, they're about to fire, but they're firing into a shield. Oh no! It immediately destroyed the shield. And then it got nullified, of course. But that's fine. Yeah, over here is gonna be fine, I think. So, select this squad. Move in, Super Squad. Move in, Backup Squad. Ooh, that's Terraform. Yeah, Super Squad instantly took out everything on that island. That's awesome, right? Hmm is an awesome is that we need that kind of cleaned up a little bit this whole area will just clean itself up once this is clear so we do have that going for ourselves this is just taking itself over the mortars are going to do amazing work the spore launcher somehow or the nullifier must have died to blobs it must have been blobs i was about to say i was like where'd that egg come from but it must be blobs, right so now we have over here we are shooting this emitter uh, when I did this or attempted this earlier, I was coming at this side from the bottom and we had this whole island taken over, but they kept shooting the emitter and destroying everything here, uh, cause it's only going with energy from this one box. So to take this out is actually very difficult, uh, because <laughs> oddly enough, it, it kind of is. Uh, let's take the, you know, over here. Let's just, let's just end this creep over here, right? Because things are shooting over here. Let's just really go for it. Oh, we're charging our reclaimant. Yay! Oh, I think we might have destroyed that canan. I don't know. Uh, let's send a couple more over here. Send a couple more over here. Yeah, just the one box. Not exactly the strongest to take out this whole island. Um... That's okay. Okay. I will say, when I was taking it before, I don't think... I think there was a little bit of creep leaking in from over here, so they were shooting, like, over to down here and stuff, and that was that's what was killing the nullifier. Uh, but hey, objective obtained. 
a little bit later than I would like, but that's okay. I'm not, I'm, as you can see, I'm not really using cruise missiles, uh, which I think are just insanely powerful and amazing. Um, but I don't trust them. I sadly don't trust them. And I guess that's the big problem. Maybe I should, right? Maybe now that we're kind of over here, maybe we should start trusting the cruise missiles. Maybe I should drop my AC up here or straight on this island for a bit, right? Just to send the AC over there. Uh, the planes are doing fine, though, although we lost a bomber. We lose a bomber. We did lose a bomber. How did we lose a bomber? I don't even know. I'm going to take another AC bomber until we run out and move you to join the squad. So as long as we can get this, I will be very happy. But as you can see, that was us blowing it up. Uh, perfectly fine. Not the end of the world. There's very little creep on the map now, so it's not like it really matters. But we do need to uh, really... Wait, why is this not shooting our bullets? This one's not shooting our bullets! Oh my gosh, you are not shooting bullets, sir. You know what that means. That means we are going to kill your friends. Look at that. That has way more health than we can deal, doesn't it? Uh, on? What do you do? I mean, you're all going to go towards it, right? Boom. Can we kill it? Is that just too tough? That's just too tough. Even with all of our cruise missiles. I mean, we're taking it down, kinda. Oh no, oh no, what am I doing? Everything's going wrong. Like, I want enough damage on that to win. I need that active, right? We need some that active. Oh, come on. Oh, we're gonna lose all these. I know we're gonna lose some. I just was hoping we would've destroyed the lore. Like this. I'm sorry, sir. I think we made it. Oh, I was so close for you. It was so close. And now that's just going to heal up. That was all of our cruise missiles we had. And see how long... It, like, this even has missiles on it. But there's no redstone coming here. There's no M-Rift. Like, I don't understand this island. Oh, I think we blew it up. That took a lot of damage real fast. We just blew up a fire. That was exact. the one thing. The one thing that I was trying to achieve. Had I known that was going to blow up, I wouldn't have gone back for it. And I feel real bad for that. Because we just wasted all of our time with that. Holy moly. That's frustrating, too. All right, that's fine. That's fine. We're gonna come at this aisle from the other side. It's gonna be fine. We're gonna help this out. Ideally speaking, ideally, ideally, we will help clear this out, right? Um, so let's get all of our planes. All of them. All four. And we'll just say, go like that. We'll take all of our AC. It's over here already, which is good. Start to spread out. Take this whole island over. Take out the skimmelims. Take out basically everything. Shoot what we can. Like, this is just taking itself back. That one energy box is just not enough. So. We are losing some. If I take you and target, say... Creeper. But I say to all, only target Creeper, actually. Will you still target the lower? You will. If I say only target closest, and I move you over here, will you still target the lower? No. 
Okay, so we have a, we have a way around the lure. So let's move like two or three of these down here, which you're turning the exact opposite direction that I wanted you to turn, but that's okay. You're all turning the wrong. And see how this just gets completely, like, completely taken. So, this is now ours, though. We are expand a landing, which is great. These are all just shooting into rocks, which is awesome as well. Uh, we are going to closest. We are going to bring them all down here. They're going to hit the hit the wall. A pain. May they learn. Then we bring them back. Now we have the closest squads. You're going to go there. 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 There. Up. Round. Then go over there. You. Oh, I lost. Oh, I lost the plane to that. I would love it if they just almost accidentally kill that slight Sam. Like that will be perfect. All of these need to. S I only need like one firing at them. And we still want to keep this area kind of clearish. So I am gonna try. And just clear it, keep it clear. But we don't really care about it. What we do care about is clearing everything else out. This comes in. You come out. You come in. You move it. Formation movement. Once we are out of range of this, we can kill this, we can kill this, we can kill this. We can basically kill all the creep and the skimmer factory up there. All that we need to do is literally just get through the range. The range. Oh, you can see we're, we're blowing ourselves up a bit. That's okay, it's understandable. Right? There is a little fear here. Okay, okay. Oh, no, no, no. We are starting to get there. So now, we can turn a couple of these, top few, into deepest. If we can start hitting the deepest of the creepest around this area, maybe that will in, oh, the emitter's already gone, which is awesome. So the emitter's gone. Oh, actually, the, uh, the other unit's gone as well. Huzzah! Happy days, happy days. All right, no more anti-air at all, even. This is being restricted, but again, there's only so much that can be done. This area is being completely taken over, which is awesome, but they're not actually pushing as hard as I would like. Uh, we do need to get down here, and I want some more on Deepest, right? So, more on Deepest. Because if we can just eliminate the deep creep, get this so it stops flowing over here. This one freaking lore is very annoying. That's okay. The lore is allowed to be annoying. Actually, let's just have two of them. Because we do want to get this out. This corner? This corner is just annoying the creep. Like, we're down to basically no creeper on the map. It's actually pretty amazing that this area is not, like, winning. Like, you would think there would be enough here for it to win. 
Oh, are we out of AC? No, we're not out of AC. Robert's just slow. Interesting. I thought we would have been doing a little bit better. Uh, but there we go. Like, we've we've done so much of the deep creep that we're actually able to move again. Right? We're making a big movement. We should start to kill the skimmer factory. Honestly, if we say target both. Now, target deepest, target both. Let's say these guys target closest. There goes the skimmer factory. It's now instantly destroyed. Down here, we've made a bit of a mess with some eggs, but that's okay. Just need a little bit of this cleaned up, and then all that's left is mostly this corner. A little bit of this corner. A little bit of this. Which you're not even shooting. Please. Please, sirs. May we have some more? We don't even need anything shooting at that, which is fine. I will send a couple units up, a couple units down, we want more going down, then up. We have a nullifier being built up there, we already destroyed it, which is fine. This will finally get rid of this emitter, which means no more creep will be generated in the south. All of this creep will dry up eventually. Might take a moment, but it is officially gone. No more creep. Right? No one cares anymore. There's nothing you can do to stop us. Let's take two. Really. The others. We'll just kill some creep. Eh. All planes. Cut it off like this. Okay. Happy days. Very happy days. This is being taken control of. The world is essentially taking control of. We have units coming in over here. All of this is looking good. AC is doing okay. Uh, all planes selected move down. Again, it's very strange that, like, I don't know if it's how the creep is behaving, but it's like the units are just not pushing in. Like, I figured these, like, once they sort of establish themselves, would be able to actually push in, but, like, they can't push to the next unit. They do need that help getting to the next unit, which is not, you know, unheard of. It's not the end of the world by any means whatsoever. Um, it's just, it's just different. This is going to be difficult. This we might have to destroy for a long time. I have no idea. Actually, will AC kill it? Oh. Loss is the question. Will that destroy my AC bombers as well? I guess that's another question. So things are looking pretty good. Except for, of course, when everything explodes. But the, the nullifier is being built, right? So that's good. That's what you want to see. This whole area is destroyed. This is all happening. Don't know what the deal is with the nullifier over here. We have two enemies left to nullify. So we don't even have to nullify these, which is interesting. But the AC is killing this. It's not doing anything to the Armored Lord, but we don't have to kill the Armored Lord. So, you know what? Let's uh, not bother with it. That's That would be silly. The question is, do we have... This is just, this is just terrible. Uh, all of these. You are looking perfect. Retreat. So we need this to these to retreat. Because if they don't, they will blow up our nullifier.
We need all planes on this, and we need all, like, there's multiple nullifiers, which is good. It's very, very good. We have a couple of canans, a couple of mortars, a shield that's almost hitting the, the nullifier. So this should be gone. This nullifier got blown up again. A little bit of a problem. So, question is, how many units do we need shooting? There's no way, see look, there's no way anything is getting destroyed by anything but these destroyers, right? So somehow a destroyer killed that nullifier, which is a shame. That is the biggest shame that I can think of. That is nullified. All planes are now over here. All of them. Period. And all ships are going to try and kill me a, uh, an unkillable unit. An unkillable lord. I think that's the plan. So I'm going to move all but maybe, let's move all but like two ships over. Deepest. No, no. Both. Right, with more AC, with the bombers. I'm going to take one more away. We may need to add it back. That's the question, because we may need one firing at all times. And this is enough to survive. So we would need ammo, which I don't think we have any ammo. I, I used it all. Oh, nullifier's dead. We blew it up twice. Amazing. All right. So it's all planes. All planes. No more. No more. Can't do it. Not going to let it happen. Don't care about anything. Just hope the planes, whatever is built over here, and the AC can handle this. If it can't, we shall see. Times for speed. Ugh. Times for speed is a terrible idea. Look at that, that armored lord, way more than we can handle. We do need, we do need to re ammo up. But I don't really care. So that lore is going to stay there forever. Uh, I do think the planes are doing enough. So that's actually just good news for us. Uh, let's just send them all back. They they will all get ammo very, very slowly. I wish, like, if there was just an M-Rift with a red on drop here, it would feel a lot better, because then all of these would just be shooting all the time. Which would feel nice. That would feel nice. But we don't have that. We have to just wait for this 50 to come in, build everything, feed ammo to everything, uh, all of that, so. You wish we had a Oh my gosh. Could I, I could have done this for me, couldn't I? I could have done this. Why did I figure it out so late? Oh my gosh. I just thought we didn't have access to, I didn't even see there was a terp here. So I was like, we can't build a terp, so there's no point in terping. Oh my gosh. There are terps there. Yay! A bomber. AC, we did it, team! So I should have had more planes. Definitely made things more difficult than I needed it to be. Uh, but that has been the destroyer map. Uh, I love the destroyers. I think they are great units, and to be fair, I think we got the best time aside from Virtu. And honestly, knowing what I know about the planes now, just having a couple more planes would have been pretty... Well, actually, it wouldn't have helped until the very end, until we got a lot of power. Because, obviously, we didn't have the power to support it. But it still would have been nice. Um, realistically though, I was having issues with the cruise missiles. Uh, they would not, you saw when they, like, some were targeting and some were not, 
And that was happening a lot, and it made it so I didn't want to really rely on them. And maybe, maybe I should have more. But, hey, second best time next to the map creator. I'll take it. I'll take it. So, I hope you enjoyed. I do think they're very cool units. And my only real shame is one Lancer can shut down like a dozen of these. So, probably like seven or eight. But still, that's that's a lot of destroyers that can be shut down by a Lancer. Holy moly. Uh, please have a wonderful day. And I will catch you next time. Take care.